Hey guys, Joshua Stern here with the Stern team at Keller Williams um, Real Estate here in Salt Lake, Wasatch Front. My goal is to keep you all educated about everything real estate locally and nationally because I want you to make a good decision when it comes to buying, selling, or investing um, with your own real estate goals. So here we are, December marks the beginning of the cold and the flu in the inversion season for Utah and the Wasatch Front. Uh, go ahead and add a pandemic, lingering wildfire pollution, some seasonal allergies to the mix, and you can see why it's so important to protect the air inside of your living space. So here's some helpful tips to keep your home and yourself healthy until spring. Number one, filters matter. Filters matter. Air filters come in all sorts of shapes and sizes and most importantly, strengths. No matter which rating system your filter will follow, there are MERV, MPR, FPR, HEPA filters, etc. A higher number always means better performance. So while low strength filters are cheap, they're usually only successful at trapping large particles like loose hair and dust bunnies. The highest rated filters actually can trap everything from mold spores to virus carrying aerosols. So if stronger air filters fit your budget, they could be a super wise investment uh, during this time of year. Number two, there's a reason air purifiers are so popular right now. Move over pressure cookers and Instapots. The hottest home appliance this year happens to be the air purifier. These super handy devices are capable of removing allergies, uh, allergens, bacteria, viruses, odors, even toxins directly from your air. There are numerous manufacturers on the market right now, so it shouldn't be too hard to find one that fits your decor and your budget. The real challenge at the moment is actually finding one in stock. And if you can't, there are some tutorials actually online that will show you how to make your own with a box and a furnace, a box fan rather, and a furnace filter. So check it out on YouTube. Um, number three, go with the airflow. One of the easiest ways to freshen up the air in your living space is to keep it circulating by running fans or opening windows. I know it's kind of a hard time of year to do this, but this is especially true when you're preparing a big home cooked meal. Um, fumes from kitchen activities like baking and sauteing can spread harmful toxins throughout your house. Blow them out by turning on your exhaust fan and opening maybe a nearby window. For additional airflow, maybe you put a box fan facing outward in your window to send the particles outdoors, or maybe one by your door. Or turn your ceiling fan and open up your front door and your back door. Either way, it's a good idea. Number four, this is another reason to love houseplants. In addition to giving any room in your house a kind of a natural feel, houseplants have also been shown to boost the indoor microbiome of your living space. Um, and while this may not remove virus particles or allergies, it can actually help reduce the number of potentially harmful bacteria in your home. And on top of that, maintaining houseplants has actually been shown to improve mental health um, of the plant owners. And you know, during COVID-19, we could all use a little bit of that. I call it a win-win. So what's your favorite way to protect your indoor space? I'm all ears. Shoot me an email, call, maybe just text to share any of your tips or ask me any other real estate questions that might be on your mind. Stay safe. Breathe easy.